why did I choose chemo over holistic treatment? Well, let me share that with you. Now, first let me point out that I first started doing videos back in 2010 where I wanted to do videos that would help people with their business, um, maybe some tips and stuff on marketing ideas. But I sat down and I was talking in front of the camera and um, I'm about ready to publish it and then all of a sudden I was like, wait a minute, what are people getting ready to say? They're getting ready to look at me, they're getting ready to judge me. I don't know if I want to do this. And so I hesitated for a moment, but then there was a little voice inside of me that said, hey, hey, you got information to put out there. This is not about you. Go ahead and put that information out there to help other people. And so I went ahead, swallowed my pride and put the video out there and it turned out to be not so bad. But you do come across people that want to ask you questions or want to say things to you that are mean. And, um, you know, it can be a little bit painful, but it hasn't been too painful. So I'm okay with that. However, there are some people that have talked about the fact that they feel like I should not have gone um, with chemo. I should have gone holistic. Why didn't she go holistic? Well, let me answer, for the, answer that for you guys right now. Um, I didn't go holistic because my doctor said the best thing for me is to go chemo. With the type of cancer that I have, she said the best thing is chemo. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I, I, I was just kind of thinking about all of this stuff, you know, because it's not like I wanted to have chemo, okay? Let's make that very clear. It's not a desire to have it, but I do have a desire to live. <laughs> and so the other night I was watching a movie, I was watching um, a, a documentary on Bruce Lee. But as I watched this documentary and he talked about his health, you know, he, he was into um, nutrition and he was into fitness. And so this man was very, very healthy. But one day he goes over to a friend's house. He says he's got a headache. He lays down and he dies. I say that to say this. Sometimes it does not matter how healthy you are. There are people out there that have cancer, that are vegans, that work out. There's so many different people that are affected by so many different things. We don't know what's going to take us out. So in my particular case, my doctor said, this is what we feel is best for you. Because I asked, trust me, I asked. I said, what about this? Uh, there's I can't think of it now. It starts with a P. Pro, I can't think of it. Anyway, when I think of it, I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> but I asked about that because someone mentioned that process. Um, she explained why that wouldn't work. And so I asked about something else. And so then I said, well, what about holistic treatment? And she said, you know, keep in mind that this is your body. It, it's your body. It's your choice. Okay. But what happens, what I've seen, and this is my doctor, my doctor said, what I've seen is that people will go out and they'll try the holistic methods. And then when it doesn't work, by the time they come back, it's too late for her. She diagnosed me at stage two. So I did not want to play with this and just be like, well, let me go out there and take a few months. She already told me it's, a, it's an aggressive moving cancer, the type of cancer it is, the HER2 breast cancer. So I didn't want to chance that and let it get to stage three, stage four, and then maybe it works <laughs> and maybe it doesn't. So I'm okay with my choice. Now, the chemo kicks my butt. It really does. It leaves me very lethargic. It leaves me where I'm off balance. You know, my equilibrium is off. I'm not enjoying my foods anymore. There's a lot that I'm not enjoying about my body at this time. But I am grateful that it is working. It is shrinking that cancer. So after the first treatment, when I checked, the doctor asked me, you know, have you noticed any difference? And I, I hadn't even checked. But once I did, I was like, wait a minute, I can't even really find it now. So it's working. That's what's most important to me. So if you're going the holistic route, I pray that it works for you. I really do. Um, and I hope that, you know, that it never comes back and messes with you again. If you are going through chemo, I pray that it works for you. Because even chemo is not guaranteed. But I pray that it works for you. Whatever your journey is. See, this is my cross to bear. Once I knew that I had cancer and that I was going to have to go through chemo, instinctively, 
I decided to talk about it. I decided that I should share this and share my journey. And in doing so, I've been richly blessed. I've been able to meet some great people and people have turned me on to other people and they share their experiences and their, their experiences and their knowledge with me. And um, I'm able to be inspired by them. You guys are being inspired by me. So there's this beautiful circle of love that goes on as we um, go through my journey, right? I go for my next treatment on Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday. And so that'll be chemo number three. Then after that, I have three more. Then it'll be time for radiation. Then it'll be time for surgery. So it's a long drawn out process. Definitely not fun. Definitely not something that um, I would wish on anybody, but I do wish people live. So my winner for my trivia question of where was boot camp for women, Navy boot camp for women before the 90s, well, my friend Stacy Hardy in Pittsburgh, PA, she is the winner. She got that answer. Uh, she answered it correctly. And Stacy and I went to high school together. Shinley High, class of 83. <laughs> All right, so thank you. I will talk to you when I'm feeling better after chemo. Leave me um, feedback and like, comment, share, because somebody that you know may need the information that I give. So go ahead and share with other people. All right. Thanks. We'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.